27 First News reporter Vince Call is live there from the Cavelli Center to learn more about the local impact of this event. Vince. Yeah, good morning, Connor. We're going to do our best to uh, speak over the, the loud speaker system here. Got Katy Perry going on in the background, plus a ton of people. As you, as you can look around now, I mean, the teams are gathering. We've got over 300 teams running in this race today, whether that's the Fun Run or the 10K race. But I'll tell you what, most people may not know this, but the breast, breast cancer mortality rate in the Mahoning Valley is among the highest in the nation. That could be a big reason why a thousand people uh, are expected here today, raising money, raising awareness. And we have some special guests here that we need to get to. So uh, we have a, a nurse navigator here, Jill Townsend from Mercy Health, as well as a breast cancer survivor herself. So now we're, we're, we're gonna start off with Mercy Health, uh, with all the you know advancements that you guys have been able to make because of the donations from the uh, Panerathon. Could we first talk about the job of a nurse navigator? Sure. So my role begins when someone comes to the breast center and has an abnormal mammogram. My job is to talk to them about having a breast biopsy and to guide them through that process. It's a very scary and overwhelming time for them. And I'm just there to guide them through it, um, answer their questions, educate them, and um, also speak to them in the case that there would be a cancer diagnosed to help to connect them with the resources that we have to get them treatment. So it's like an extra uh, position to kind of be a liaison between the doctor and the patient. Yes, um, my job is a patient advocate to provide them with education and support. If something's not going right, to talk to the doctor about it. Um, that's a rare thing, but we are a patient advocate. If they have concerns, questions, my job is to make sure that things go smoothly for them. And we're here with Christina uh, Jura Juratovic. It, it, it always gets me. Juratovic. So, when you know to, to think about your you know diagnosis to when you know you were it, it was all cancer free you know take me through that time and maybe what it's it's meant to you now it's like Jill said it's it's super scary obviously when you get you know the news that there's something irregular on on your mammogram and ultrasound but Jill was there for me she's she was there from day one and she made the process super easy and um, I was diagnosed on November 7th of 2014, so it's been a while for me. I got my cancer free two years ago. It was two years in May for me, so yay for me. Um, so it was definitely, it was a long process without a doubt. Um, I was diagnosed at 36 and I was very advanced, so I was, for a little bit they thought stage four, but then they downgraded me to 3C, so it's definitely something that is not you know for advanced aged women or even just women it's for men also you know men can get breast cancer too so early diagnosis self-diagnosis you know I found my own lump so it's it's something and then I called obviously my physician and went and got checked and got my mammogram at the at Joni's um, and it's it's a scary process. The nurse navigators at Tony's are amazing. They set everything up for you. You don't have to call doctors. You don't have to set up appointments. They take care of everything. So in that process, it's it's amazing that they take care of it for you. So yeah, it's in a scary time. You don't have to do it yourself. You're not on your own. I still I work at St. E's, so I still see I see all of the people that help me through my process, and they know who I am. Even though I lost all my hair and I'm growing it back, and I look different now than I did then, they know who I am, and they, they stop me and ask how I'm doing. And that is, thanks so much for sharing your story. This is you know a, a day you know why, why not come out to an event like this, especially with you know going through that. And uh, thank you guys for, for talking this. This is the Panerathon. That's it for my morning, but this is just getting start of the race starts at 10 a.m. Got to come out and enjoy this today. Panerathon 2019, 10-year anniversary. I'm Vince Call at the, at the Cavelli Center.